This episode is one of a four-part series on The Future Accountant, featuring Sage partner Matt Lisko, President and CEO of LW Consulting. Welcome to the Sage Thought Leadership Podcast, championing the unsung heroes of business, accountants. So Matt, let's dig a little bit deeper on this. Let's talk a little bit about f- deepening this notion of assessing and evaluating what you currently have. What what are what are the the risks that are there? What are the, what can you do from a self evaluation standpoint, and perhaps what should, you should go outside for? And I know that's a lot in one question. So we could, let's let, let's just break it down. What are you what are you looking for initially, and what are we trying to accomplish initially with this assess and evaluate? Well. I think the initial thing that in any organization does when they assess and evaluate uh, any component or compartment of their uh, business is what are we doing today? What do we want to be doing tomorrow? And how do we do it more effectively? I, I think that's uh, simple. I think it was you that said, you know, efficiency isn't the, is, isn't the focus. It's the effectiveness of what's going on. You can make something that's non-effective efficient, but not have something that, uh, that, that does what we need to do. So I think you know the assessment component that we want to we want to look at here is first understanding where we want to go. Now I think that understanding where we want to go, we have to be honest about where the general where reality is going to take us. And what I mean by that is where is technology in general from a from a business perspective going to take us what is that going to mean from a a a, uh, uh, a required change management anyway um and I, I think it's easy for me to go into this it's like what is ai going to do to accounting what is ai going to going to going to change around how we approach things and so if i say and i say the future for me is going to be this you know software that just helps me code things more, but I'm not thinking about how the overall change is going to happen in technology. And that technology may not be around for longer. We're not assessing in the right way. So I like to make sure that the first things that I'm doing is, is know where I'm going. Um, then I want to evaluate what is reasonable as an organization to actually achieve. So look, a $2 million organization uh, is going to have less resources to implement new things than a billion dollar organization, just the reality. Now, guess what? A billion dollar organization moves a lot slower in a lot of ways than a $2 million organization. So there's pros and cons of both sides. There's not anything bad about that. Um, but I want to, but I want to be honest with myself when I'm looking at my organization and saying, what's, what, what's reasonable to achieve? What is reasonable for my future? And then build a plan around it. Um, you know, you know, this all, you know, in episode one, we talked about the retirement revolution. We talked about 75% of accountants leaving in, uh, uh, in the next 15 years. I also want to mention that we believe AI is going to, uh, is going to reduce the number of tasks that accountants do by 50%, which means that if these numbers are correct, we actually only have a 25% differential. Okay. Uh, you know, but we as organizations have to make sure that we're putting in place the ability of that technology to meet up with it. And so I, I, I don't want to, uh, everybody go, oh, it's not 75%. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's a 25% delta, but it, it's also going, what are we going to, what are we not doing today that we could be doing tomorrow to reduce the amount of work to, uh, get more information out of it? Uh, out of our systems to to get to our strategic goals. So yeah. <laughs> so on, on that, what what are some of the signs that an organization might see that they're at risk that this is going to be a problem for them? What are they, what are they what 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 should they look out for? Well, I mean, the big things that we look at at a very high level is how much reliance on Excel does an organization have. How much information are they having to pull from disparate systems and get into their accounting side? Um, and it's not how much, but is that a prevalent issue? Um, as silly as, are they still using server-based products, you know, or are they using native cloud-based products? Uh, what, uh, what is, what is the percentage of work that their finance department is doing that is really tactical work 
and not strategic work. Now, strategic work can still be a form of data entry, but it's not tactical. It means that we're doing something to get something else out of it, not just to get the job done. Um, so from, from the way I look at it is I want to understand where I am today and I want to find those small wins, make some, affect some change really quickly, and then look at the larger ones and, and walk that ladder up as an organization. And understand that every organization has its own path, its own starting point, and its own end point, and really build a plan around that. What about the people side of this, Matt? There might be some people who are not of retirement age and not part of that retirement revolution that are in the organization that are going to be sticking around. What What are some of the things that you ha- or advice that you have for them? Um, th- these p- folks might be a little bit mid career. Uh, th- they might be now uh, wanting to have change, but also a little bit afraid of change. So, what 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 are some thoughts that you have for those folks? Well, I think there's there's, there's first the, the concept is that let's not be scared. If you are, I'm not saying everybody is. If you are scared, let's take the fear out of this. There's going to be work for us all to do, and there's going to be a lot of opportunity. And so I don't see this, you know, I don't see AI, I don't see the retirement revolution as these, these things that are just detrimental and all bad. I see it as major opportunities within our, uh, our industry. Um, I think if you tend to be somebody that is heads down and really end up in tactical work is try to take a step back and ask the why. Ask the why it's important what you're doing. I've been, I've been very fortunate in, uh, in my career and very fortunate in the way that I look at things is that numbers have always told me a story. They've always told me what's going on with a business. I could look at the numbers and dive into it and it would, it would speak to me. It would help me navigate even from a very, uh, early on in my career, just then I didn't say as much, much about it because I don't think anybody wanted to listen to somebody that was, you know, only had a couple years experience, but it would, it would guide me. And I think if all accountants, no matter the level that you're at, could take, take some time to understand what that story is, what that, what that story is being told to them. And what they're going to do is they're going to shift themselves from being tactical and fearing AI and really shift themselves into understanding the strategy, understanding the why the business is doing things, and then be able to provide feedback of value. And that's where we're going as an industry is we need to be able to provide the feedback that provides value to the owners. Because not everybody has an innate ability to look at numbers and it tell them a story. And so that, I mean, that would be my number one recommendation. Well, Matt, I think that's a perfect place to leave this episode and we'll pick it up next time when we talk about the future accountant. Review and subscribe by searching your podcast player of choice for Sage Thought Leadership Podcast.